All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Kenny Tran, and I'm an admissions counselor with the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. And I actually uh, live in San Francisco, and I cover the Bay Area territories, and I serve as a personal contact for our local students. I'm also a member of the Admissions Review Committee for the Granger College of Engineering. And while I'm here to represent the University of Illinois and talk a little bit about our admission processes and the experiences of engineering students on campus, I hope uh, to be able to give you some insightful information that you all can use as you apply to competitive engineering programs, such as at Illinois and beyond. So the list that you see here shows all of the majors available at UIUC that either focus on engineering or have an emphasis on engineering concepts that students may use to pursue careers in the engineering industry. So this is certainly not a comprehensive list of all the engineering majors out there in the world, but I think it covers most of the major areas of interest that our students might have. So historically, UIUC is a known leader in worldwide innovation in technology and engineering. And so you'll find that modern electronic inventions like transistors, integrated circuits, LEDs, all stemmed from UIUC alums and faculty. So naturally, electrical engineering and computer engineering are going to be very uh, popular majors uh, with our students. Although perhaps the most uh, significant contribution by UIUC affiliates is actually the creation and proliferation of the modern day internet as we know it. So computer science is uh, perhaps our most selective and most popular major at the university, which has resulted in the creation of also our CS plus X majors, which uh, our students uh, can then integrate computer science with other majors on campus. And so this has actually become a common program at many universities as well, uh, including Stanford, Caltech, and Northwestern. Based on historical data, I can tell that most of uh, you that are probably uh, watching this right now are probably interested in consist uh, with computer science, which is quite consistent with um, data from, from our previous years on students uh, and their majors of interest. But of course, majors like mechanical engineering, bioengineering, and civil engineering are also increasingly popular at the University of Illinois and nationally. In terms of trends, the most popular engineering majors are typically those that contribute to changes in society. So a few years back, mechanical engineering was actually the dominant engineering program that many schools were receiving applications for. But given the increasingly advanced digitization of technology in recent years, there's been a massive surge in interest for computer-based engineering majors, such as computer science and engineering, just in order to keep up with the times. And although Illinois is known for our computer-based engineering programs, you'll find that this is a consistent trend across other universities as well. So I suspect that if you're interested in the University of Illinois, you're probably interested in a variety of other schools with similar programs and opportunities as well. So this is uh, by no means an expansive list, uh, but I chose to highlight some of these schools because they share many similarities and are often connected in students' consideration sets for college admission. Most of these schools fall within the category of medium to large undergraduate populations and are known for their reputable engineering programs that focus on academic research as an integral part of their institution's goals. All of these schools land somewhere within the top 10 to 12 rankings on the US News and World Report, for engineering undergraduate programs that provide PhDs. So for all of you, um, this next part of the presentation is probably going to be what you're most interested in. But first off, you don't have to have an application, right? When it comes to an application, uh, schools typically don't have a preference which one you apply uh, using. Uh, the common application is by far the most familiar application system for our students, but there's also the coalition, which many schools are on, including the University of Illinois uh, as a third-party application service. But we also have institutional applications designed for specific uh, institutions themselves. So think of the UC app for the University of California or for UIUC, that's my Illini. So when it comes to the review process, most schools will employ a holistic admission review process, meaning you take a look at all of the, these different factors in conjunction with them, one another. Uh, grades by though, it's are typically gonna be the most important part of your application. We gotta know that you can handle college uh, level uh, coursework. So when it comes to academic achievement at the University of Illinois, we review um, those types of students in three kind of uh, particular uh, areas. When it comes to your coursework, this um, includes math and science courses, um, which I recommend you take for all four years, um, even if some schools only recommend just three. For, if you're interested in engineering, do all four years of math and science. 
Calculus, although it is not a requirement for Illinois engineering, we expect that most will have it, especially for those competitive majors. Some students may even have coursework above high school calculus, such as multivariable calculus, and while impressive, is not always required and not always to be beneficial to take, as some schools, namely Illinois, may prefer these courses be taken on campus uh, anyways. Physics, though, is absolutely required at Illinois at any level that you can take it at your school. For more selective engineering programs, higher level physics is going to be really recommended and more than one type of physics. So think AP Physics, yeah, Physics 1, Physics 2, uh, Physics C is going to be uh, you know, preferable in many cases. <laughs> Technical classes such as computer science, engineering, and project lead the way are going to demonstrate early achievement and interest in your field as well. When it comes to grades, most schools will uh, review 9 through 11 courses, but some schools will focus on 10 through 11. So I think the UC is common for that. But for University of Illinois, we'll take a look at everything. Uh, when it comes to your senior year uh, classes, we'll look at the classes and not so much the grades, because uh, based on the timeline, we wouldn't be able to um, review your, your grades uh, in a timely manner. Uh, for your grades, mainly A's and those core academic courses, as you can imagine, especially in math and science, with a few B's in those irrelevant courses for the more selective programs. Consistently high grades are always going to be preferred out of anything, but an upward trajectory in those grades from freshman to junior year, it's going to be better than the downtrend. If you're going to have low grades, I prefer it to be earlier on, and you've improved significantly since then. And then rigor, uh, the most rigorous coursework in math and science, but also overall is going to be preferred when it comes to these types of applications. And rigor in this case is defined as typically uh, advanced placement, AP classes, or college level coursework. Rigor is often considered in the context of what is offered by your high school. So school profiles and college board data allow universities like UIUC to know the amount and type of AP courses available for students. UIUC specifically, students are compared against their peers within high school based on an average rigor, which again is a mix of AP and college level courses. When it comes to test scores, right, there's a, a big conversation the last year or so because of test optional given the pandemic, and many schools are still test optional because of the pandemic. So this means that exam scores are not required to have your application considered, and not having scores will not negatively impact your application. Scores in many cases can be beneficial in showing academic abilities, especially if your grades are weaker. However, if I'm reviewing two applicants with identical application profiles, but one has a test score, but the other person doesn't, I'm not necessarily going to favor uh, the one with a test score. Of course, this also depends on what the score is. If the score is really low, then simply having a score to have a score does not help your application by any means. This past year, the University of Illinois was test optional, and we expect to remain this way for the next year or two, as recently approved by the Illinois Board of Trustees. And you can find more information on our uh, admission processes through our website. If you do decide to submit a test score, though, it is important to note that some universities may super score, others won't. At Illinois, we do not super score, but we will take your highest composite score, but also your highest math and highest English scores across all the sections. So this sounds a little confusing, but when it comes to super score, the idea is that you're going to combine your highest subsections to create a new score that you necessarily didn't receive. At Illinois, we don't allow you to report this new super score, if that makes sense. But you can still report your highest composite score regardless of the test that you're sitting in, uh, but also the highest math and the highest English section across all of your tests. So we still see the highest math and highest English subsections. You just don't get to actually report that as something that you received if you combine those two together. And then when it comes to extracurricular involvement, there is no algorithm or right combination of activities to do in high school. So less impactful activities are always going to be better than a variety of high impact activities, I'm sorry, are always going to be better than a variety of less impactful activities. If you don't play a sport or aren't good at it, then don't do it. If you don't like music, then don't force yourself to play an instrument. Do things that you enjoy and get good at it, right? Join clubs that are interesting and move you up the leadership chain, or chain over time. For engineering programs, having activities that are relevant to math and science are going to be more 
uh, attractive than, than not, right? Even better, having activities that directly relate to one's major or long-term goals is gonna be even better, especially um, with Illinois where our application really addresses your connection to your major. Math clubs, science Olympiads, hackathons, robotics, summer programs at local universities, uh, research opportunities, high school uh, internship. These are very common things that we see on the application. Also very impressive to see patents occasionally as well. However, we recognize that it can be quite costly and rare to have a patent and, and this does not necessarily guarantee your admission. When it comes to honors and awards, these depend on the university and program. Some will put significant weight on honors like National Merit Scholars, others don't. I can truthfully say the university uh, fits in uh, line with the latter where uh, we receive so many um, applicants, strong applicants, that um, are National Merit Scholars um, that it just doesn't mean anything to us anymore, but it's a great benefit to have. Some schools might even offer you a scholarship for it. Illinois does not. Awards that are larger in scope and level, international and national level awards, are going to be more impressive than those local or regional ones. Then when it comes to your personal statement, and or essays. And so this is the only written portion of your application that you can use uh, your voice and actually present yourselves to an admission officer, right? The prompt varies by the school, but most often students will be asked to draw upon their own experiences, either in life or uh, in school. The Illinois prompt that you see here asks students to connect their experiences to their interests and passions, which would then connect to their long-term goals. Specifically for engineering, we're not just looking for students to regurgitate those activities onto their essay, but really show us why you're passionate in a particular major based on how you've explored it so far and how you can use your degree to impact the world. Even better, if you're already doing these things that you're talking about in school, then explain that even further, right? But across the board with any college prompt, I would say avoid using quotes as a crutch. This is very common in essays, especially when the quote makes no impact to your point. To also talk about yourself rather than focusing on the accomplishments or challenges of another person. But also answer the prompt. Don't disregard the prompt in favor of a nice sounding narrative. This is uh, not an English class. I read through thousands of apps and the best ones that I read are the ones that just simply answer the question right up front and don't create this kind of long-winded narrative to, to make themselves seem a little bit more interesting than you might be. But also avoid overused engineering topics. So the top three topics that I see a lot in those why engineering essays, uh, when it comes to interest in mechanical engineering, Formula One racing is often talked about or just simply interest in cars, go a little bit deeper there. Also, um, my interests in engineering started when I saw Tony Stark's inventions in Iron Man. Uh, very overused, I'll be completely honest. Anything when it comes to Marvel and superheroes in relation to engineering, it's probably used by uh, dozens of other students as well. And finally, kind of the last most overused topic, Elon Musk. Students love talking about Elon Musk as a pioneer in engineering. Um, I get it, um, but let's talk about yourself more. Uh, other items to consider. <clears throat> While the University of Illinois only considers the items that I've just mentioned, there are some other common items and factors that other schools might look at. Letters of recommendation are quite common as well. Interviews with an admission officer or alumni, perhaps a portfolio, uh, resumes, demonstrated interest. Uh, you, you know, some schools might even take monetary bribes nowadays. Unfortunately, UAUC has yet to adopt this policy. Uh, when it comes to uh, engineering overall, though, I will say that we really like to uh, we really value collaboration and teamwork. So this is important because we want to know that the students that we enroll can understand the coursework, but also work well with others um, during uh, their time in college, but also after it, because the profession itself is very heavily based on collaboration. It's not often that you're being given a task in the place uh, to build a bridge or create a program all by yourself. And so we want to know that these students um, that we're admitting understand the value of teamwork and collaboration and, um, and, and can handle kind of the projects that we throw out there. Uh, so we're going to look at that through your essay and your activities and your application overall to see if we get a sense of that. So now that you've been admitted, the next step is to register for classes. So on average for a semester school, a minimum of 120 credits or units is typically required for graduation, whereas at a quarter school, about 180 credits is required. Engineering degrees often require more uh, than the minimum credits needed to graduate compared to a typical degree because of the course 
parts of the major will typically be much greater. Though, if you consider all factors across equally across all majors, things like general education, foreign language composition, an engineer will often be expected to, uh, to take much more coursework compared to others. And so this includes foundational courses like math, chemistry, physics, core class for your major like mechanical engineering, civil engineering, uh, computer science, things like that, and even technical electives. So in theory, it should take engineers longer than four years to graduate, but often find times they come in with APIB credit, and previous college coursework that satisfies um, those basic foundational uh, courses, all the while they're still being expected to take a tougher course load compared to their peers, oftentimes more than the prescribed 15 credits per term is normal. Some might even take summer classes just to ensure that they're able to graduate within four years or even sooner in some cases. So, um, more of the fun stuff now, right? So different opportunities and activities that engineers on campus take part in, obviously are gonna vary by school. And so the things that I mentioned here are gonna be more specific to the University of Illinois. So engineers take part in a wide array of activities on campus, whether playing in a club, intramural sports, or being part of the marching line and marching band. The Granger College of Engineering is consistently hosting hackathons, robotics competitions throughout the year as well, all mainly run by students in those programs. Students interested in motorsports can even join Formula One racing uh, to develop small uh, race style Formula One uh, vehicles. Civil engineering also even has a concrete canoe team that uh, competes nationally and regionally against other schools. The first intercollegiate concrete canoe race was actually hosted by UAUC in 1970 and they won against Purdue. We also have an engineering open house, which is an annual two day event hosted by Granger to celebrate the various engineering programs on campus and the projects that the students from various departments are doing. The event is a huge celebration of all things engineering and attracts thousands of visitors each year. This uh, is also, uh, there's also a Rube, uh, Rube, Rube Goldberg competition, as well as the iconic Tesla coil concert at night, which you can of course check out on YouTube. Granger also has their own engineering study abroad office to assist students in college look for opportunities to take engineering courses in another country, many of which will count for course credit for their major, which is nice. That won't hinder you if you really want to explore the world uh, in college. We also have engineering uh, career services, which hosts career fairs held throughout um, the year every semester and helps students look for internships uh, and career opportunities. When it comes to those internships, a lot of our engineers take part in internships throughout their time at Illinois, often over the summer, but throughout their four years, either in Chicago, the Bay Area, or anywhere around the country. Some participate in co-ops where they spend an entire semester or year uh, working directly for a company and gaining valuable career experiences. We also have Research Park on campus, which is a uh, tech incubator for students interested in entrepreneurship or simply working for a startup in the future. They provide on-campus internships for students in a wide variety of areas, including engineering, business, communications, marketing, you name it. Also, as a research one institution, research is also going to be very prominently featured on campus. Students can do research as early as their freshman year, whether they do it individually or with a peer, or perhaps serve as an assistant to a professor. Though we recommend uh, spending at least one or two semesters getting acclimated to the university, though. And then finally, uh, academic honor societies and honors programs. So James Scholars and Departmental Honors programs are available for students interested in the engineering program. Entering freshmen are uh, offered uh, honors by the Office of Admissions, but they can self-nominate themselves as they are a student if they're not already in it. Societies like Women in Engineering and specific professional organizations for specific majors are also available for you to join. So that is the end of my formal presentation about the University of Illinois, but also engineering in general. If you have any questions, you are welcome to contact me at the um, uh, at my email that you see on the screen there. But of course, the website to the Office of Admissions um, is also listed there. You'll find everything that I talked about through the website as well. And with that, thank you so much for coming. And of course, um, I look forward to hopefully working with you soon um, regarding your college application. All right, take care.